Come in. Hi, doctor. Hi, I'm Dr. Wong, and you are? Jason, Jason Cole. Mr. Cole, how can I help you today? Have a seat. Thank you. Um, well, I haven't been feeling good for the past couple of weeks, uh, so I thought I'd come and see you today. Okay. Well, anything particular that finally made you come in to see a doctor? Because a lot of patients do not want to see a doctor. <laughs> That's true. I don't count me as one of them, but um, I guess I've been having a cold like for the past couple mm -hmm. of weeks and it hasn't been getting better so that's why I decided to call. And what do you mean by cold? Give me a little more details. Um, I guess, you know, like runny nose and uh, kind of sneezing once in a while as well. Okay. Now, is a runny nose sneezing, is that more in the morning or at night time? I think maybe more in the morning. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I wake up, I feel like really crappy, you know, okay. like really bad, excuse my language, yeah, but uh, I just don't feel like really getting up and doing anything. Mm -hmm. but, you know, Are you congested? Um, yeah, I would say so, kind of like, it's a bit stuffy. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. And how long have you had this? I guess, I guess a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks, yeah. Okay. And have you had, had this before? No, it's the first time, I think, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, um, well, we've had some weather changes with the rain, and now, well, you know, rain and stops and everything else. But was it worse when it raining, or just after sort of? I think it's better. I think not better. I think it's worse when it's uh, sunny. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so, did you notice it when? Like, where did it happen more often? When you're maybe inside office, outdoors. Um, have you gone hiking recently? Do you have a garden you work in? I think when I when I walk to work, you know, walk back and forth from work, especially in the morning. Okay. It's probably the worst thing. Is there yeah. like a lot of well trees or flowers or plants on your way to work? Yeah, you know, I pass by a couple of parks. Oh, okay. And stuff. All right. And then and also, um, do you have are you any pets at home? No pets. Okay. No. Any um, new clothing or furs? No. Not that's the right season for it. No. Okay. Yeah. Change in detergents? No, I'm still using the same old detergent. Okay. Yeah. So you haven't moved to a new home, new house? No, it's still in the same place. And and at work, is it the same office? Same office. Okay. Um, any, um, are you, do you work with any chemicals or anything like that? What no. kind of work do you do? No, I work at the university, but not at science kind of side of things, it's more education side. Okay, yeah. so not expose any chemicals? No, I don't think so. Okay, all right, good. So do you know why this could be happening to you? Any particular reason that we haven't talked about? I mean, I thought it was a cold, but it, you know, it hasn't been getting better, so I'm okay. thinking it might be something else. You know, okay. I'm not too sure. Have you tried any medications for it, over-the-counter medications? Mm, um, well, I, you know, I thought it was a cold, so I've been taking Panadol. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I had been taking Panadol, but it didn't work at all. So, okay. Yeah. Anything else over the counter, maybe? Mm, no. no Something that's, that's called Doreal? Um, no. What's that? Well, it's like a antihistamine allergy, but we could talk about that a little bit later on. No. Okay. All right. Any? How about even home rem home rem remedies? Have you done anything? Just taking like honey lemon tea, but good. That's and that didn't help. Not really. How about you buying online or go to a pharmacist and ask them for anything? No, not yet. Okay, no, no. and have you gone to see another doctor for it? No, you're the first. Okay, yeah. all right. And um, let's see. And sore throat, maybe? No, really. I kind of like have like it's itchy in the roof of my mouth okay. a little bit. And your skin itchy or anything like that? Uh, not really. Not okay. Really. All right, and then your past milk history. Any ever had this before? I don't think so. Okay, no. and um, have you any of the medical problems like skin problems, eczema? I kind of have a heat rash, I think. But what do you mean by that? Describe it a little more. Like in summer, if I go to the beach or something, and then the next day it'll get all itchy in my around my um, elbows or my neck. When it's more sunny out. Yeah, right? or like. When it's After I've been drinking a okay. lot or something like that, all right. it gives you chill. Okay, so when you're, I mean, when maybe some larger out, like when you're drinking alcohol, you're talking about, right? Yes, yes. And also when it's really, really hot, yes. like maybe 
30 yeah. degrees or something like that. Yeah. Well, right now it's about 24, 25, so it's 24, it's 25. It's, it's not too bad. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. But now you don't think it's the same. Not, not the no, same, not same type thing. Okay. All right. Any hospitalizations? Um, in high school, I had my appendix removed. Okay. Um, how about how about any other broke broken bones? I broke my collarbone. Uh, I broke my kneecap. Okay. When did you break your collarbone? When I was five. Okay. Just Messing around in the park. When you're five. Okay. Yeah. And how about your kneecap? Which kneecap? Uh, my right kneecap. And that was in. Uh, High school and you were messing around as well. Yeah. Okay, all right. Any uh, anything else broken? Any broken body parts? No, no that's it. No bone, no legs, no fingers. No, no, that's not. No. Okay, all right. And um, no, it's no tonsils. You had no problems with no. tonsils, thyroids. Still there. Okay, good. All right, all right. So any allergies that you know of to medications? Mm, don't think so. No. Okay. And how about to? Over any over the counter medications that you've taken, like herbal medications, if you tried or anything like that. No, I think okay. it's yeah, all it's right. Okay. Any foods like usually peanuts, strawberries, chocolate? People have. I'm okay with. Okay, foods, yeah. good, the good stuff. Yeah. And how about um, any other like animals? Um, I'm not sure, but sometimes when I'm around cats, mm -hmm. I get like. I kind of sneeze, maybe, okay. or right. maybe itchy eyes. Or but something. you haven't been around any recent cats. Though. No, no, okay. I don't have any pets. Have you been tested for the cats? How do you know that? How you, have you been tested? No, I haven't been tested, but I, uh, maybe I should get tested because okay. the last couple of times I've been around cats. It's okay, been, right. you know. And then we also well, you work at a university, a hospital university, so um, sometimes you have any things like to latex gloves or anything like that that you know of. No, we had a a lesson. For uh, with the students uh, last month about how to properly wear mm -hmm. latex gloves and I had no problems. Okay, yeah. well, so, but sometimes it takes you years before you develop it. Okay, that's alright. Yeah. And um, so you're not taking any, are you taking any other medications besides the Panadol? No, that's all. Okay, alright. So um, I'm just going on to social history. So you're a teacher? Yes. Okay, but no chemicals involved? No. Alright. And um, are you married? No, single. Okay, any children? No. You live by yourself? Yes. Okay, but no pets? No. Okay. Um, do you smoke? I, um, I don't smoke now, but I used to. Maybe okay. about eight years ago. Alright, and how much did you smoke and what did you smoke? I was smoking cigarettes maybe for about a month. Only for about a month, uh, maybe three or four days. Okay. You didn't have a reaction to it? I didn't. I, I got sick smoking, so that's why I stopped. And you're not exposed to anybody recently smoking around you? No. Okay. And smoked any marijuana? No. Okay. Have you tried any other illicit drugs, such as cocaine or heroin? Well, no, never. Or ecstasy pills? Never. No? Never IV drugs? No. Snorting? Never. Or just pills, oral pills, nothing? Okay, good. All right. And then tattoos? No tattoos. <laughs> any um, intravenous blood transfusions that you've ever had? No, just never. No reaction. Okay, just how about vaccines? Sometimes you have problems with did you get the fall vaccine or the swine flu vaccine? No, I never I never got the, the vaccines for the swine flu. Okay. But in the past have you had vaccines and yes. have you had, and have you ever had allergic reactions to them? Like no, rash or anything like that? No problem. I think it's all okay. Good. And family history, um is your, how old is your mom or your parents? My my mom and my dad are Around about 60. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your mother, does she have any medical issues? She's got asthma. Okay. Yeah. How long she's had that? Two, three years. Okay. Yeah. All right. And how about your father? Uh, he had his thyroid. His thyroid's removed. Yeah. Okay. And both those medical conditions are well controlled in your family? You've, yeah, my dad has to take medications every day. And uh, I think my mom, she's taking some kind of medication for asthma as well. Oh, okay. okay. They seem to be okay. All right. Good. And other. Family history of people with um, sort of respiratory problems, runny nose, anything like that? No, I don't think so. Okay. No. And your sister, brother? Do you have any sisters? Yeah, I have a sister. Okay, is she yeah. well otherwise? Yeah, she's fine. Okay, good. All right, so now I think, uh, well, one more question I have to ask. Did you, just to go on medication, did you try over the counter like nasal sprays or anything like um, that? No, no, I, don't, I didn't try any of those things. No. Okay. Good. All right. All right. So we'll we finish with the interview part, and let's go ahead and start the examination. Okay. Thank okay. You.